<laughs> for this uh, delay, sorry. So, uh, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Regine Vigne, professor in Sorbonne University, and I work with the taxonomist of the Natural History Museum in Paris. My talk uh, concerns what is a standard, uh, and especially standard for the case of morphological descriptions of taxa and specimens, and uh, also some comments on the TADIC standard. So next slide, please. Uh, to begin, it seems legitimate to ask what we mean by standard because this term is associated with many ideas and, uh, and concepts like uh, reference terms, control vocabulary, format, model, schema, rules, etc. But in all the case, the idea of a consensus in a community and uh, the idea of comparability for data uh, is always present. Next, please. We uh, make extensive use of standard, not only of uh, TADWIC standard. For example, the standard proposed by the International Organization for Standardization. We know the ISO for the names of country, for example, or for data and time formatting, uh, for me measurement units, and so on. Uh, as we see here, the first one is a standard concerning data, the second uh, a format on format, uh, um, a standard on format, uh, but there are also standards to describe methods. Uh, so uh, standards are quite uh, different and cover a large uh, set of, uh, um, of concerns. Next, please. Here we have the definition uh, found on, uh, on internet and proposed by different institutions or organization. In uh, most of all uh, this definition, we find the concept of agreement. A standard must be accepted by a community. And uh, we find also um, uh, the concept of data formats. But oh, next, please. But all standards are not necessarily uh, used with a computer. Uh, for example, the names of uh, countries not necessary for digital data. At the contrary, uh, the fair principles focus on the ability of machines to automatically find and use digital data. And uh, we need standards at three levels, data standard to understand the meaning of the data, format standard to know how to read the data or their structure, right? And a method standard uh, to know how to access the data. Uh, next, please, next slide. We can illustrate uh, uh, this uh, different level in case of uh, databasing when creating, for example, a relational database. At the first level, uh, semantic uh, level, we uh, work on what the data mean and their definition, and we produce what is named a data dictionary. It is the harmonization of terms, like for a data standard. At the second level, modeling level, we uh, propose a way to express, to structure the data. We express the entity, the relationship between this entity, uh, and we produce a visual schema, uh, an entity relationship schema or UML schema. And at this level, computer is not necessary, but it's a, a way to, to share uh, information. And so it's also a level of standard. And at the operational level, we translate the conceptual model 
in a set of uh, tables, and we use a special language like uh, SQL language. Next, please. So what about uh, TADWIC uh, standard? The website of the TADWIC presents uh, 23 uh, TADWIC standard described by a status, a category, and a short description. Next, please. And in this 23 uh, standard, two concerned morphological descriptive data uh, to express the description of uh, taxa or specimen. It's DELTA, the description language for taxonomy, and SDD, the structured descriptive data. They have the same status and they are classified in the same category, technical specification. Next, please. But these two standards, of course, are different. Uh, they are all standards for the two, but uh, Delta express and give the documentation to, um, to write a flat text format. Uh, it was developed by Mike Dolwist in Australia. And the second uh, SDD, is expressed as an XML schema, and so it benefits of the IT tools to manipulate XML uh, data, uh, for example, to validate a file according to uh, a specific um, uh, schema. Next, next, please. In the two cases, uh, some software adopt this uh, standard format, Delta or SDD. In our case with XPER3, we adopt uh, uh, SDD and we use SDD file as an exchange format uh, for our data. Next, please. So for a user who develop uh, a content with XPER3, there are two levels of model. The generic model, it's SDD model. It's the model to uh, the SDD schema describing, uh, it's on the left, describing how to structure the data or metadata. And on the right, we have a content, an instance of this uh, model, uh, which produce also a SDD file. Uh, if uh, we, we are regularly um, approached by users using XPER3 and they want to export or import from other software. So they need to have this generic model SDD, but we need to have other software able to use also the same uh, SDD format. And uh, the user ask us also to share content from one expert database to another database. So in this case, it is how to share the right part, the instance of the model, the data. Next, please. So we have uh, two standards for taxonomic uh, description, Delta and SDD. Are they sufficient? Are these SDD files interoperable and reusable with other software? And for that, I uh, report you to the last talk of the session with Adeline Kerner uh, for discussion and experience on the difficulties in this uh, translation. Uh, and if there is some problem, should uh, standard or software uh, be modified? Do we need to develop new mapping uh, to map between these two data models, for example? Next. So to come back to the different uh, uh, categories of TADWIC standard, uh, TADWIC uh, defined three categories, data, technical specification, and best current practice. The data is the left column. Uh, technical specification are in the two in the middle, and best practice in the right. It's only some uh, examples. But uh, even if uh, this, uh, the different standards, some of the standards are, have a large documentation in GitHub, uh, in many cases, uh, it's really difficult to discover and to use the standards. 
So next, please. So a suggestion is to add uh, additional properties to classify Tedwick standard and to precise more uh, information, for example, what they concern exactly, data, formal model, method, protocol, how uh, the standard is expressed, uh, what is the computer language used, which one, uh, which level of computer skill is required, and uh, for example, uh, is this standard extensible uh, or not, uh, which tool exists for mapping, and so on. Next, please. Uh, this is an example for SDD if we fill this uh, type of properties. Next. Uh, in conclusion, um, TADWIC standards are essential um, for producing fair data in biodiversity. These standards are very diverse uh, and uh, we suggest to uh, propose a classification to try to construct a classification of this standard with more categories according to multidimensional criteria. A second uh, point, which is important for me, is we have to keep in mind that uh, our development and standards must be at the service of biologists, not only for IT people. And so we need, of course, definition of the standard, but also documentation to use the standard, use case, feedback, links with mapping tools, and so on. Uh, in, in conclusion, uh, for uh, morphological de descriptive data, we have DELTA and uh, TADWIC standards, which are ratified and deeply documented. Uh, but there are some problems to translate data from one format to another. It seems that we need to make uh, progress towards shooting them on a consensual basis to respect uh, the interoperability and the reuse uh, the ability of uh, the needed for fair, prin fair principles. Thank you. Next. We have time for a few questions. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Very nice talk. Um, I'm just curious whether those standards applied for broad range of organisms, you know, what, what, when they were developed, actually, whether they applied for plants names or, or sorry, for plant organism or for animals, you know, and are there like inside of it, you can actually make distinction and choose, okay, what, which, what organism you're dealing with. Thanks. Uh... If I understand the, the, the question, yes, we have a, a list of standards which are directly data content, uh, so uh, control vocabulary. Um, and uh, so it's possible to, to use this, uh, uh, of course. Um, but in case of uh, the, the, the plant name, uh, it's a standard to explain how to write uh, names and so uh, the standard don't give uh, content uh, plant names but uh, explain how to format uh, this and so how to read uh, a label to interpret correctly the different parts of the names. I, I think the question was um, for the, um, st uh, the descriptive standard. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. The idea. Yeah. The, the, the idea is to have uh, a schema you can apply the tax you want, I think. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there then is a difference between uh, a generic model and you have to instance this model and um, 
uh, a control vocabulary, for example, which is a data standard, but it's not a formal um, a, a, a formal model to express data. Uh, I, I, uh, I will uh, ex Uh, because it's the category of the feature you, we want to standardize, not what you put inside. But I, we we can talk a lot about that. Don't don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. I've got the answer, but I haven't the time for the moment. <laughs> okay. So um, on a online, no question. No. Okay. So the next talk by Patricia Mergen, Fair, 